let's talk about the refrigeration cycle between our outdoor unit, our condenser, and our indoor unit evaporator coil. So, I like to talk about how the refrigerant is actually flowing through this whole thing. So there's a loop that basically goes through this system and then comes through this coil. And we're attached to both of these coils through something called a line set. There is a suction line that goes from inside to outside, and then there's a liquid line that goes outside to inside. So all of it is basically driven by this guy here. This is your compressor. The compressor is just the motor that is taking uh, refrigerant in a vapor state and it's sucking it into the compressor. And then the compressor is aptly named because it's compressing it into a really high pressure vapor. What's gonna happen is this really high pressure, high temperature vapor, it's gonna come through this uh, condenser coil and it's gonna condense into a liquid. Once it's condensed into a liquid, it's going to be coming through our liquid line and it's going to be coming to our evaporator coil. It's going to go through this TXV or some sort of orifice. What this does is it takes a liquid and it takes that more high pressure liquid into a very low pressure state. That low pressure state then evaporates inside of our evaporator coil, absorbing heat and turns back into a vapor. That vapor is then sucked all the way through our suction line back, in this case, through an accumulator to ensure that only vapor gets to our compressor. And once it happens, our compressor once again compresses and allows that high pressure, high temperature vapor to go through the condenser coil. So what's really interesting about this process is that the tonnage of the AC that you have is referring to the amount of heat that this system is gonna absorb inside, transfer to the outdoor unit and reject into the atmosphere. That's why we have all of these fans on the top is that it's gonna absorb the heat from your home and then when I compress that heat that I absorbed through the evaporator coil into a higher pressure, with higher pressure comes higher temperature, that higher temperature is generally higher than the outdoor temperature and heat always goes to where there's less heat. So I'm elevating the pressure, which elevates the temperature of the indoor heat that we just absorbed to want to go outside. Same thing on our evaporator coil. When I take a pressure drop, that pressure temperature is gonna drop lower than the internal temperature of your house, which makes all the heat in the house want to go inside of the evaporator coil. So this is just a three minute high level view of the refrigeration cycle. Hope this helps.